Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of The Longing. Look at us, we're just... We're just up to our nose in water here. That's interesting. Um, I think we came over here to... Why did we come over here? To get more moss? To get more disappointments? Honestly, I don't remember. It's been, it's been a week since I last played. You can see we only have 15 days left. Which is crazy. Just crazy. How close we are to finishing. Um, yeah, I think we are just getting moss for moss bed. So we will. Um, a few things. First of all, hello everyone. Thank you for... Thanks for playing with me. <laughs> thanks for sticking with the series for so long. I can't believe it's kind of coming to a close here. Um, I... I know this is the library. You know what? Let's check it out just again. Time passes. I think this episode, we will want to check out the treasure room to see if we can get some coins. Still don't know where we can get that last disappointment. Hopefully we'll get lucky. I was told by Muscar, who's given a lot of helpful hints, um, that... Uh, well, a couple of things, actually. Oh, there are more books up here? All right, grab those. One thing that he told me is that the last episode or the episode before that where we went to the white crystal cave and I was like, what happened here? Didn't this used to be filled with water? It indeed did. And apparently that lapis lazuli is has something to do with that that we found. Uh, I'm not sure what though. And I, you know, I should have looked back. I forgot to look back to see if that green crystal was there before or not. And I should do that. Uh, I think after this episode, I'll probably try to do that. I don't remember all these books. I mean, we would have picked them up. Oh, can we just... No, okay, we are picking... There are a finite amount of books here. Interesting. Did, like, something fall? Did more books fall? Keep going that way. I'm curious how books just appeared here. Another... One thing that Muscar told me was that when we were in the... Um, in the tower above ground, apparently we just missed some kind of, or we were there. Apparently if you go there at a certain time, it's different. But I was like, doesn't that, or like, first of all, the tower is really far away. So going back and forth to that tower would be super annoying. I feel like it's the kind of thing where you just have to get lucky that you'd be at the right, there at the right time. But we, um, so he said, like, that's, that, that is very true. It's a lot of trial and error. And he said that he would tell me in the comments what time to go there. And I I think it's just kind of like a little in-game bonus thing that's not really necessarily relevant to anything. So I think I might just look at that even while I'm talking to you all and playing this game right now. Just want to look at the bottom here. And then we'll get more moss. Ah, go, get down. Yeah, I think I am. Because I'm curious about what time. So I, I wrote down, we the la when we got there, it was 22 days, 21 hours, 56 minutes, and 46 seconds left. I wonder if maybe it was like an end, like maybe it's like right at midnight that you have to get there. I don't know. Or maybe just the top of an hour. So I'm going to, those are my guesses. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open his little comment thing, his spoiler. He says, in-game time of 21 hours or a few minutes before to bear witness to what happens. Another account said 19 hours worked as well, so it could be every single hour. Yeah, so it's possible we just missed it by four minutes, which is would be frustrating. That would definitely be frustrating. Let's say enter door. I do want to enter door. Oh, okay. All right, well, whatever. Uh, go through here again. Get the moss. So we could do that. We could go back there. The thing is, it would still be hard to time correctly. I think I would have to... Hmm. We would pretty much have to walk there. I don't know what I could do. I guess I could go there, look at what the time was, mark it on my own 
and then like start go back into the game like a few minutes before the hour would pass and start recording could do that you know that i like you to see like every everything that i actually experience in the game i'd like for you all to see but that might be too boring for you I don't know. And it's possible this this week, the next two weeks, maybe I need to pack in more episodes and just release them later. But we are, I feel like we are running out of things to do. He also gave me a hint, or I think it was him, maybe it was someone else, gave me a hint that uh, the never-ending book that we got, I had an idea that what, you know, that clearly that something in our journal has to do with that. And I was wondering maybe... Maybe if we just, like, read it enough. Apparently, we were on the right track, but we need to, quote-unquote, think outside of the box. Actually, I don't know if it was Moose. Someone, someone said that. Who said that in the comments? Gotta look it up. I'm looking it up. Oh, it was Muscar. It was Muscar. <laughs> he gives me a lot of hints. Um, all right, get in the water again. Yep. Splish. Take a little bath. We'll get more moss. And maybe we can make a moss carpet. A clump of moss will be part of my life from now on. I miss these little these caves. These like earlier caves where you can actually see. Pitter pat, little shade. Oh, that was coal. No, I wanted moss. I can't remember how much moss we need for the moss uh, for the moss carpet, according to the book. I don't think it was a ton, right? And that door leads somewhere. I think that door. I think we actually have to go through that door once we're done picking up moss. Who would have thought that I would become such a competent moss picker? I shall use this along with some wood to build a bed and rest for rest forever. We got 15 more days, buddy. And then our life is according to the will of our dwarf king. I keep saying dwarf. He just looks like a dwarf. Because even though he's giant, he's got that beard and he's just kind of has like... I don't know, the demeanor of a dwarf? He's stout, even though he's huge. 20 moss. But the Mountain King. Our life is subject to the will of the Mountain King. So I would like to go back to our lair to ins to reinspect that never-ending book, and then I will. I, but first, we're gonna check on the coins. That's the goal. After this episode, I gotta remember to see about that green crystal if it existed before or not. I don't have my map open, but I don't quite remember. What's which way? I think to the left there might be nothing? Maybe I'm thinking of the cave we just came from. But it's always good to recheck these areas that we haven't seen in a long time. Because as we have seen, things change. Things change. Lapis Lazuli will just, like, suck up all the water in a pond. An underground lake. Okay, yeah, this is the end, the uh, a dead end, but worth checking. So much delicious moss. That reminds me, I got my birthday happened to be last week, this past week, and my wife got me a terrarium. She got me, actually, she got me two things. I should post these on my Twitter or Discord or something, but um, she got me a couple of things. One was a terrarium, and it was a little bit of a misunderstanding because I told her that I had been watching these videos online uh, of 
of this, I don't know, this person. This, this person has a channel where they just make, I don't know what this person looks like. This is just like music and you can see this person's hands, but they make terraria. And they're, when I say terraria, they're like biome terraria. So, and they're enclosed. So like they'll take some sediment and like dirt and plants. And if it's like supposed to be like from a creek, it'll be filled with water or there, maybe there'll be some water in there. And then it's like a big, like a big jar with a that sealed shut. And even though it's sealed shut, there's enough, and there, there are plants in there, and there's enough water in there for it to just like exist forever. And whatever little animals were in the dirt or the water or whatever, when they collect it, you you get to see those after everything kind of uh, clears and settles. And you just kind of watch these little creatures in their little habitat and you put it under a hot lamp and it was just really cool i i think when i was i was explaining this to my wife and uh do i go to the right or the left let's try the right first but i kind of want to look down those stairs um and i think she misunderstood and she got me like just a plant terrarium and i think she thought that because we used to in back in queens when we lived in astoria we used to live next to or like a block away from this this shop that opened up when we moved there that was just about look at that staircase how do you get up there huh um it was just for like you take terrarium classes there hold on This looks like a stairway, right? Doesn't it? I'm double clicking there. I'm seeing what shade does. Nothing. Okay. No, let's go back. I think I don't remember what's down these stairs. I'm just confused because that looks like a little stairway in that arch and I want to go up there, but I don't know how. I don't know if that's a secret or if it just looks that way. So anyway, she got me like she didn't get me a terrarium. She got me like uh, all the things you need for a terrarium like the soil and rocks and little plants and stuff like that, and a really lovely container that's like a dodecahedron. And then, um, and that was, you know, so our plan was to like do that, to make terraria in our sukkah, because it's it's still Sukkot right now. It's the very end of Sukkot as I'm recording this, which is a, a Jewish holiday. It's very fun. We put up a, a tent in our yard and you dwell in it for a week. It's a very fun, usually it's a fun holiday, but it's a little, been a little bit of a downer been a little bit of a downer with the pandemic because it's a very social holiday and um and then she also got me a smaller dodecahedron this one with a sculpture in it a sculpture of the hand so uh it's from from steven universe um you know at the end of every steven universe episode and this is also in the show somewhat there is a, um, like where they live, at the very top of the temple where Stephen and the Crystal Gems live, there's this hand. And they go up there. There's a little warp up there. All right, let's just say go to the, you know what, start going, start going there. Because on the way there, on the way there, we will pass the coins, I think. And Little Shade knows how to get there better than I do. Um, so there's a, there's this hand that they that uh, this little warp goes up to at the top of the temple where they live, and at the end of every episode they show that hand, and there's like a washer dryer up there and a clothesline with like Stephen's laundry drying on it, and um, you know it's kind of a mystery of how a washer dryer works up there, but it's very cute. And oh, now we're going back up. Oh, I guess we're going across. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, 
hold on, hold on. I gotta see what's down here. What's what's down to the left? Because I do not remember. And if there's an area that I haven't explored, if I just don't remember, I gotta I gotta find out. We're looking for disappointments, remember? It's just a little detour. Snack, get, get down there. Get down there, little shade. Down here. So she, my wife commissioned this artist, like a young artist friend, to basically make that hand with the washer dryer and the laundry and the, and the warp portal thing uh, inside this dodecahedron. Oh, right, right here. And there's the library that can't open. All right, I just wanted to see, because things change, you never know. All right, um, and it's very cute. And now there, it's and we, I made a terrarium. I put the, we did the, I did, you know, I, I tried to design it, put the plant in there and everything, and then, so it's right next to the St Steven Universe sculpture thing, and they're both in the same container but different sizes. It's like really nice to a decahedron with like, um kind of gold-plated trimming it's nice um yeah it was it was a lovely birthday uh how, why did i start talking about that i don't remember oh it was the moss i think because we were picking up moss and i got this like fake moss for um oh this way right i forgot that this way existed See, Little Shade is much smarter than I am, for many reasons. So, yeah, and so I, yeah, we got this like moss, but it's it's like dead moss, or it's at least it's not, like it. I think it's it was once live, like it's a life, but I, I don't know. It's it doesn't smell like plastic. Like I think it is. It's still green. I don't know how it works. It's called like super moss or something. I don't know. Um, wait. No, I don't think we want to go this way. I think we want to go left. To get to the treasure. I think the treasure is over here. But this was a shortcut, I think. Maybe I'm lost. Maybe I should open the map up. Could do that. But I think we just want to go left. Uh, so yeah, I should try to. I should get a picture of that. Someone remind me. <laughs> or put it in my Discord. I think I took. Yeah, I definitely took a picture. Not of the, not of the terrarium, but of the uh, Steven Universe sculpture. Keep going. Uh, isn't it? Why wasn't it around here? Maybe left more. Maybe through here. Oh, I'm going to have to get that map in, aren't I? We need those gold coins. We need to go to the face. And I do wonder... Good. This, that's what I thought. If, if the time passes and we... Oh, my gosh. Look at that. This is what we thought. If time passes past 15 days and it just stops, like, can we just keep playing? Or do we need to wake up the king right then? Or can we wait? I mean, just pick up a bunch, I guess. I don't know how many we should pick up. <laughs> I love that it says it's completely worthless. I mean, we should pick up. Let's say 14. To the face. And maybe after we talk to the face, we'll end the episode. Hmm. The thing, I want to, we do want to go back to the lair. Because we, we do want to see if we can make moss carpet there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if you can do that there or not. Could also, I could try to go up to the storehouse, but that is a bit of a gamble. I basically have to like 
save the timestamp, look at what time it is that I'm recording it, and then plan like tomorrow to get there at the top of an hour. Or maybe it's every two hours, who knows? But I could try to plan that. But then if we do that, that's pretty much the episode is we're going to be up there in that tower and not really be able to do anything else because there's not enough time. But what else do we have to do? We got our coins. We don't know where that last disappointment is. So all we could really do is just like... Just... What's the word I'm thinking? I don't know. Just doodle around. And hope that we get disappointed. Or hope that we hope that we don't get disappointed by not finding a disappointment. <laughs> So, yeah, I think, well, let's see what the face, whatever the face says may change what we want to do. It's crazy that the only thing we have left from the face is one more disappointment, which we cannot seem to find. But I'm very excited about getting this last clue. Or the last answer. Uh, not the last answer, but one of the last answers. All right, face. Talk to the face. Hello, face. How are you? I am well, thank you. How are you? I have more questions. Uh, what's the one for the gold coins? Can you tell me a secret? Yes. You may find a hidden domain if you try to breathe freely. You may find a mysterious door if you look for it where you can see the most. You may find a birthday present in a most beautiful place. If you put it all together, a wondrous secret is revealed. Huh. Huh. Wow. Okay. If you try to breathe freely. I think. So. I think this hidden domain is the tower. Because even though we found it through through sound. I was told after we found it I it, I was I was told by Muscar that usually the way to find it is not the way we find it. Usually the way to find it is by getting 5 sulfur, starting a sulfur fire in your room, and then the shade starts saying that it it smells funny and starts auto walking to that fork in the road. And I'm guessing because because of the sulfur, it's hard to breathe. And then Shade goes and tries to breathe freely. That's getting five sulfur. Also remember that in the room with the white crystals, we just found five lapis lazuli. And I think that that place might either be where we can see the most because it's so bright there, or a most beautiful place because it is a beautiful place. And I think, I'm pretty sure we got that one crystal, that, that, that long crystal in that room, in the, uh, in the tower. And we found that green crystal in, in the other place where we found the lapis lazuli. I think that has to do with that. So I'm guessing that the other place, which is either a beautiful place or where we can see the most has to do... We'll find another long crystal there. And I bet it has to do with... I bet I bet it has to do with five of another mineral. Either... Um, what are the other minerals? What's... Of clay? Probably clay. Or chalk. Huh. 
most beautiful place where you can see the most. Uh, and also, that means, I'm pretty sure that means that we need to get the the green crystal from from there where you can see the most i mean this does make sense about where you can see the most it's very bright so what would be a most beautiful place i think i'll need to think about that and get there next time although i think i think we're going to start in this cave I'm going to I'm going to start walking there because we got to figure out how to get that green crystal. That was a really that was really good and that does change what we want to do because it looks like we have a goal for getting a new secret. So I think we are going to wait on trying to get whatever that weird stork secret is. I say stork because it's like that there was a stork nest in the tower. Um we're going to wait on that and instead do I put in a cut now? We could go a little longer, because that cave's, eh, it's not super far away, but it's already been 26 minutes. Yeah, I think next episode, we search around there, and in the meantime, I'm going to think about that. I'm also going to see how it looked before what I assume is our birthday, if that's our birthday present. Huh. Interesting. Okay. That's it. I'm calling it quits today. Um, I'm going to think about that, and we'll... I think we need to get three long crystals. We have one. We know where a second one is, and I'm going to try to think of where that third one is. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.